Why are you so handsome? I was a C-section. <laughs> I befriended my inner child. Placenta therapy, microdosing, power naps. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you no, know, I took a good hard look at myself in that mirror. And I didn't like what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> It's always fun to watch bloopers of any film or TV show, and sometimes, depending on the actor, it can be more funny than others. In today's video, we will be sharing the likings of Brad Pitt and all of his hilarious bloopers from the various films he's been in over the course of his career. 79 fucking explosives, okay? <laughs> You took my snake! Wait, we gotta point this. Uh, this way, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. How old was Brad Pitt when he had his first movie role? Leave your answers in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I think we got company. God, I gotta say the bad spy line. <laughs> the cliche spy line. <laughs> Shit, I think we got company. <laughs> Apparently, aside from a few projects that Pitt is involved with right now, that we will get into a little bit later, it's considered disrespectful to keep almost any production of any film or TV show ongoing because of the current strike. <laughs> if you picture it, it's gonna make it worse. Yeah. <laughs> Use it. Don't say he's not going to do what he's never done. Just use it, Brad. And it hasn't just been for the writers, but some producers as well, aka Brad Pitt. Even though Pitt hasn't been seen on the Apex set in any acting capacity, he's likely doing some producing work behind the scenes. We couldn't actually afford a real casino this time. So they had to uh, make one. These are all fake. These walls are all fake. They're um, cardboard and... Paper. Unlike Dwayne Johnson, who made a huge donation to the Actors Union, and Tom Cruise, who sat in on some of the early negotiations in hopes of averting a strike, Pitt is continuing to work. Because we are the champions of the world. <laughs> and in the middle of it, Brad Pitt turns to me and goes, this is the no shame zone. Brad really went for it. <laughs> It's a very gray area in terms of film production, but it's not exactly the ideal move to make during a labor dispute. He was in Hungary shooting for an Apple TV film, and many people are pretty against him for doing so. Screw it. Bring on the yams. <laughs> well, but you've, you've worked so hard. I mean, yams! Okay. You went out with her? We had a pact. <laughs> that was in high school. It's not like it was binding forever. Then why did it have the word eternity in it? As of news just recently, though, he finally decided to pull the plug on production. An insider on the project spoke a little bit about Brad Pitt and his stance now. Postponing the production was a massive call, especially financially. But Brad has listened to the concerns of people he works with and wants to show his support. Who are you? My shaman calls me Maluka Salabiam. <laughs> My shaman calls me Salibam Salab. It means eagle of Ralph. <laughs> My shaman calls me Saliva Malahuka. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. You kill us. <laughs> Shit. For over three decades now, Brad Pitt has been delivering some of the most memorable acting performances in the late 20th century and the beginning of the new millennium. He came through the ranks in Ridley Scott's road movie Thelma and Louise, but really broke into his stride with David Fincher's crime film Seven. That's it. I am calling the conductor. Who hurt you? That's it. I'm calling the conductor. Suck back, lady. 
You sideways, sir. From there, Pitt established himself as one of the biggest movie stars Hollywood would ever know. Of all the films he has been in, he once revealed what his all-time favorite film was, Fitzcarraldo, a film based on real events released back in 1982. Okay. Seriously, use it. Okay. Don't say that line. <laughs> One of his more recent films he did that was an action comedy was Bullet Train, a film that did fairly well releasing on Netflix last year, making over $100 million in profit. And we remember going back and looking at the behind the scenes and bloopers of this film, and there were plenty of them. You shot me. I shoot a lot of people. You shot me twice. Well, you also have a shootable face. <laughs> Dude, what the f You're very handsome. <laughs> oh, I got wasabi in the eye. Now let's do this. Hurry. <laughs> and speaking of his film career, I'm sure this won't be the last of the bloopers we will get to see him in as he has some more projects coming up. If you haven't heard, it has been confirmed that a sequel to Beetlejuice is in the works which stars Jenna Ortega, and apparently Brad Pitt is credited as the producer. It's presumed on my guy line. Damn it, why can't I talk? I would like to say that um, I've had the time of my life on this one, but I can't which is really frustrating for an artist like myself. This project is scheduled to be released in 2024 as of the time of this recording, but who knows if it'll be delayed due to the current ongoing strike. He also has a couple more projects like Wolves, which is filming, and an untitled Joseph Kaczynski film also filming. Still rolling? Still rolling, here we go. Whoa, whoa, Garpum. Dude, come on, I'm, cut it. Snatch was another crime comedy he did way back in 2000 with Guy Ritchie, Jason Statham, and Stephen Graham. Just stick your thumbs up if you can hear me, Brad. Or give me an okay sign. Yeah. Oh, lovely. I will speak really clearly for you. Is that better? What the f does that mean? <laughs> Inner Thelma and Louise, where a young Pitt took his initial steps into the world of cinema, instantly earning the reputation as a heartthrob within the realm of Hollywood. It's hard to say just what film was his big break exactly, considering he has so many different roles in his earlier years all at once. Nonetheless, I don't think fans will get tired of him anytime soon. <laughs> oh dear. Dear God. Okay. <laughs> Four. Four. <laughs> Four balls at once. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, Brad Pitt began his acting career with three different uncredited roles in 1987, No Way Out, No Man's Land, and Less Than Zero. Given that he was born in 1963, that would have put him at 25 during the start of his career. And they're playing Krill. Goodbye, Krill world. We've got to get on the ride. Krill have a lot of legs, and we're, we're constantly moving, so we had to do a lot of that. And in the middle of it, Brad Pitt turns to me and goes, this is the no shame zone. Brad really went for it. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What did you think of all these moments and which one was your favorite? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Come on, work with me. Chevrolet Tahoe also got a three-star rating. <laughs>